Some people have asked, how am I making my own tombstones? I'm going to go through a step-by-step -step procedure of how you can get, make your own tombstones with inexpensive materials that you can get at any Lowe's. First thing you do is you buy the styrofoam sheets. In 2010, they were about $14. You want the thicker sheets so that you make a nice fake, uh, fake, fake stone t uh, out of them. The thin stuff costs less, but it's flimsier and it doesn't look like it's a tombstone. To get it home, what you'll do is you cut it into 18 inch wedges, 18 inch strips like this one. It's easier to throw into a trunk and each uh, one of these will make two tombstones. Now if you'll notice, the strips are 48 inches long. That's four feet. So you'll make a mark on both ends with the Sharpie, 24 inches. This is where we're going to cut it to make two. Just draw a quick black line with the Sharpie using the same ruler and uh, now you got a line to cut. Here's the high tech finagling machine that I use to cut the gross shape with. Real money on car insurance, what do you do? Yeah, you fancy, know. I know. Cutting them in half takes maybe 15 seconds with a sharp knife. One of the things to note is that you will have little particles of styrofoam everywhere. Now what we're going to do is take a sharpie and a string and mark an arch to make the tombstone. What you do is with the string, you tie a string around the sharpie and then you have your thumb hold the string at about uh, nine inches from the top. And then you just drive an arc, you just draw an arc by gripping the sharpie and just swing it around the string. Yeah, it's just like this. Now you're gonna think, oh my god, that's... how many times did I have to do it? Well, this isn't rocket science. You do it as often as it takes until you get the, the arch that you want. To cut the tombstone, you'll need one of these. This is called a hot knife, and you can buy them at any Michaels or other hobby stores. They're about $15. Essentially what you're going to do is you're going to melt the shape you need. Now I'm not going to go over the hot knife step because it's boring and it is very slow. It does take time to make a cut with the hot knife in the styrofoam. Expect that. Take your time, do it right, follow the line as best you can. And once you're done, you'll take gray paint. Masonary gray is the color that you want to shoot for. And you'll paint the front, the back, and the sides. You end up with this flat styrofoam looking, which actually does make it look more granite-like. It is very important that you use latex only. Oil-based paints attack the styrofoam and you end up with a blob that never dries and is worthless. So be sure you only use latex paints. I use rollers because it allows the paint to get in in good in little nooks and crannies while the deep crevices stay white. Why do I want the deep crevices to stay white? Let me show you. The next step is to add a little bit of black spackling to it. And the way you do this is you take a very, very small drill bit and in the hole that the spray paint comes out of, you will drill it out some so that the paint will splatter as well as spray. And then you gently and over an area make it make a sputtering of black specks. This will make it look like granite.
Now the black specks together with the white specks make it look like granite together with the, with the gray. Ta-da, you've got your fake granite. Only on one side, I realize, but most, most Halloween, you know, shows you're not going to care about people seeing the back. You don't want to see them to see the back. The light's going to be only on the front. The next step is to put some text on it. For this we have these little projectors. This is a reflection projector. It allows you to print on white paper what you want. There's a bulb inside, a light bulb. And this shines the text onto your tombstone that you're going and you're going to trace that again with the Sharpie. Now this step is best done at night. Take the Sharpie and you trace out on your stone the letters that you want to put out. The letters that you want on the tombstone with the Sharpie. Then at a later time you paint in the letters that you've written. After tracing and painting in with black paint, this is what they look like. The best font to use for these, the prints, is Times New Roman. And we printed a size of about 40. We use a font size of 40 to print and then we project onto it and we trace it and off we go.